We go to overtime. Your winner will be declared by fastest submission or fastest escape. This is a special event, ladies and gentlemen. All money made from this bout will be gone to charity. Introducing first, funny out of the blue corner. Of course, you've got to give it as well. Paddy Hulin, he was caught on the broadcast last night for Bama and Dave Roach is hunting for the neck again. He's looking for ninja chokes at the moment. It's kind of like a, when a guy's hiding his head from the guillotine, you can get those ninja chokes on the other side. And Dave Roach just pushing Paddy up against the cage here. What's the plan? Here? What's, what's the thought here? Keep talking through Both guys are kind of hand fighting at the moment. Dave Roach is using a lot of collar ties, and because of the size difference, that's uh, it's going to be a, a tough for Paddy to deal with. But um, when he does reach for these collar ties, Paddy's looking for rushing, uh, a rushing two on one. That grip that he's looking for, that two on one that Paddy is looking for, on Dave Roach's right arm right now. That's that's what's going to help defend him from those collar ties. He's looking for it to get out. Paddy looking for his own collar tie now. Of course, Dave Roach. Both guys are pummeling for inside control at the moment. The guy with inside control, uh, like double unders, for example, tends to have the more dominant position. We got a story here as well. Both SPG affiliates here as well. So that adds to it as well. There'll be a little bit of pride in this one, Keith. As much as it's for charity, both fighters will want to get this. And you wonder does Paddy just have it in him where he wants to throw a short elbow here? <laughs> and again, just hand fighting, both fighters just respecting each other's skills here as well. Head position here by Paddy just. Paddy winning the head pressure right now and back to an even position. That collar tie Roach looks so strong. We're just coming up to the three minute mark as well here and neither fighter has given away any grounds at the minute. So seven minutes left on the clock. And again, as in the introduction, if we go 10 minutes without a submission, we will go to overtime. Fastest submission or fastest escape wins. Paddy looking for that Russian tie again, but Dave Roach just a bit wise to it. Both guys never really fully getting the grips they seem to want. Looks like they're both having a little chat with another there. There's a little smile on both fighters. <laughs> High 
flying maneuvers from the hooligan. And again, both fighters just having a chat with each other while they're in there. Good sportsmanship shown by both. How important is the key? We're, we're, now, we're now on the four minute mark, so when, does, when do you go for it here or do you risk? Because it's not it point depends. scoring, like, so... Uh, maybe one of the guys decides that he can't get a submission, he decides to stall it out until the, until the overtime. Maybe he feels like he'll have a better chance of winning from the back or a quicker escape, whatever. But if it goes to the overtime rounds, that's where the size is going to come into it. It's going to be harder for Paddy to lock up a body triangle on Roach because of the size difference. And with EBI rules, who decides this, the starting position? Do the both fighters agree uh, on a starting position? There's, I don't know what way they'll do it here. Usually it's a coin toss. Um, if one person is more uh, dominant for the whole round leading up to that, maybe he gets the, the choice of to go first or not. And as well, when we get to that point, if we get to that point, we're just creeping up to five minutes now, so we're halfway through to ten minutes. How exhausting is this, Keith? As in, they're jostling and battling for position, both guys here. So, how exhausting is this right now, and how much will that come into play? Will it be the fitter guy is going to have the more advantage when we get to overtime? It could be the fitter guy, but also, while they're standing, Paddy has to carry all of Dave Roach's weight here as well. Even when Paddy nearly has the double unders right now, but Dave Roach is doing a good job to make Paddy at least carry the, uh, that weight. And that was more just sheer strength there, it looks like, by Dave Roach just to get Paddy down. Style. He's looking to invert and go underneath for the back. And Kiss of the Dragon Sweep nearly gets to the back off that reverse Delahiva Sweep. Beautiful work by Paddy. Very nice work off balance from Paddy. Now Dave Roach looking for a cross face. Doesn't quite have the head control, but he's isolating that far arm of Paddy. Paddy's right coming up. arm seems a bit trapped right now, but Dave Roach's foot. We're just up to six minutes Dave now. Dave Roach looking for that guillotine. Paddy needs to be careful with that. What's Paddy need to do to get out of here, Keith? He needs to regain his posture again at the moment. While Dave Roach has the weight of his bicep slash tricep around uh, the, the back of Paddy's neck, it can be hard, it can be a, a suffocating position even if the choke isn't on. But those right, look I guarantee tight. you right now, even if the choke isn't on, it's, it's not a comfortable position. Paddy's doing a good job of keeping that leg controlled, the, the, the right leg of Dave Roach, because Dave Roach needs to get that leg over to finish. You, you can just finish it without it, it's just going to be a, a lot harder. He's, He's reaching through for the bicep now, there as well with a darse. Dave Roach. And is hunting. I think he's let go of it now. He's lost the neck. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from the angle that we're at. And Paddy just regains some control and position here with Dave Roach leaning all his weight it's again on Paddy. Jiu Jitsu changes so much when the cage is involved as well. Paddy just trying to kick the legs out from underneath Dave Roach. He's trying, maybe looking for a leg, looking to attack that left leg of Dave Roach. Butterflies in, Dave Roach stands up out of it and Paddy gets back to his feet. And of course, a ripple of applause goes around the Barbican Theatre. Both fighters smiling at each other. We are now at seven and a half minutes into this round. Paddy's doing a great job when he do when he is on his back at using those butterflies and just keeping the inside control and constantly trying to keep Dave Roach off balance. But when you have someone Dave Roach's size, if he gets a hold of your neck, even if that's not clean under the neck, that's still that's that's dangerous. Back to the battle. The phrase, anything under the nose is the neck, comes to mind. Two minutes, and Paddy dives, guard looking. Guard. Straight away looking to isolate an arm. He needs to start off balancing Roach. Roach seems to have a good base here. Probably be hard to just trap an arm. He's going to, Paddy's going to need to attack some sweeps, make Roach base out and open up a bit better. And he just pulls the head down. He's climbing his guard up, starting to work. And the roar goes up to this educated crowd. They can see what Paddy Hillen's trying to accomplish here. We've got Paddy one minute and 30 seconds. Might be looking to isolate that arm. Oh, and he switches sides. 
quite see what Paddy is doing over by the head. He looks like he's trying to frame over, maybe set up an Oma Plata. I can't really see from this angle. We've got one minute on the clock now, one minute. Now the question comes into it, do you go after it for the last minute or do you wait the minute and then just try winning overtime? You would think it, we're both fighters in the skill level they are. It's going to be hard to latch on and catch on to a finish just as we say that. Exactly. Dave Roach dives in for a dart. Paddy needs to free his legs and get to his back, get his back to the mat and turn out. This looks tight. This looks tight, Keith. Posture is starting to break on Paddy. Paddy's doing a good job to frame. Seems to be struggling. That squeeze of Dave Roach looks powerful. We've got 15 seconds left. That's just cranking into Paddy's neck now. That Paddy slips out of it. Escape by Paddy. He's going inverted now, trying to recover his guard. Beautiful work by Paddy Hulan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 minutes, we have no submission. I think they go like five minute rounds. As we've had no submission, a referee in Britain is going to do five nine costs. We're going to have five minutes here to declare what position we go into. Whether it's the fastest submission or the fastest escape. Crowd are on their feet for this one right now. Wayne. Wayne. So overtime rounds are about to kick off. It'll be three, one minute. Uh, each guy will get a chance to uh, escape or submit. Uh, to escape or submit from the back position or the armbar position. They'll have a minute to do so, and then if no one gets a submission after the, each person gets their three rounds, then it'll go into quick escape. Wayne! Wayne! Head hand! It's that hand has to go through. That hand has to go through. That hand has to go through. That hand has to cup the leg. Other hand has to go through. That has to cup the leg. I thought it was. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to overtime. A little bit of confusion as to what the rules are to start here. Wayne Fagan, Wayne Fagan just talking to the fighters. Dave Roach is choosing to hook with his arm that's on the side of the legs. You hold the leg and you hook the arm with one arm. That's it. Yes, yes. I don't think it's a hundred point impact. I don't fucking rules. Yes, yes. Wayne Fagan is going to Paul Brown taking it serious, even using profanity. And we are underway. So this so, is fastest submission or fastest escape. So Paddy's going to need to get free his leg first of all. While his leg is trapped like that, it's going to make it hard for Paddy to get up onto his knees to escape, which stops his ability to stack. It, it, it limits a lot of escapes. He can't do the... the and Paddy's out! Beautiful escape. Well timed. Paddy Hill then got out in 16 seconds. And Paddy's taking the back of Dave Roach. Now, is Paddy going to try to go for the submission straight away or is he going to try to rack up some, uh, some hold time? We're doing three rounds each of overtime. Paddy Hillen. Starting on seatbelt. On the back of Dave Roach. 
16 seconds to beat. And we're underway. Dave Roach stand. He, he's got one hook out. Paddy recovered that hook beautifully. With 10 seconds. We are now 13 seconds. 16 seconds have passed Paddy. Paddy's doing a great job of keeping his chest and hip orientation in line with it. And we've got a choke as well. He's going palm to palm with that grip. I can't quite see if it's under the neck or not. Not under, as you said earlier, it under the nose. Anything under the nose is the neck. If he can get his bicep and turn this even into a neck crank. these battles at the back it's a constant battle for thumb line you're constantly trying to control your opponent's thumb line and you're co try constantly trying to hide your own thumb line when you're trying to choke someone offense and defense it's thumb line and pinky line Five. some good time racked up by Paddy so that's one nil it's going to be best of three essentially here so, It'll go to three rounds unless someone gets a submission, and if it does go those three rounds, then Paddy's. So at the moment, is Paddy winning Paddy's with 16 winning with, seconds? Yeah. Bear that in mind. Dave Roach is now taking the back of Paddy Hillen. Seatbelt position. And we are on our way again. He said go. He said go. He did say go! <laughs> Wayne Fagan did say go! There is controversy a lot here! And Wayne Fagan is repositioning them. Paddy, he said go, and Paddy Hillen got out of it, so... The seatbelt has to be connected, two hands connected. And we wait for Wayne Fagan to give the instruction. Time in. Dave Rose shows to use the seatbelt in a way to trap Paddy's arm a bit there. But I think it gave Paddy too much uh, freedom to escape. Paddy, Paddy just him. scrapes him off. Or he just needs to scrape him off. Free that leg. And he's almost out. And he's out. Paddy Hillen escapes again after 15 seconds. All comes down to this last round. So for anybody watching who's a little lost in the clear, what does Dave Roach need to do to win this now? That's Paddy Hill and out. Uh, Paddy could just rack up time here if he wanted. He could go for the submission, but then Dave Roach needs to escape as quick as possible and then get the submission in the round after. No, again, Wayne just needs to get both of them ready and the countdown. And we're on their way again. And Paddy Hillen looking to lock up the, tri the body triangle, but... As I said, it, it's going to be hard for him to do it. He might be able to do it if he can get his hips around in a good angle, but... It looks like it's going to be difficult. And Paddy's again, doing a good job of stopping Ro Dave Roach's leg from... Oh, we've, it now. we've now passed the 15, the 15 and the, the 16 now. seconds. He's got the triangle now, but there's just a risk of Dave Roach turning into his right now because Paddy's right foot isn't catching behind Paddy Dave looks to have right a, an arm under the chin here, possibly. Dave Roach hand fighting. See how Paddy's controlling that thumb or the pinky line of that hand with his underhook side, his uh, his right arm. Is it worth noting, Keith? I haven't really seen an atmosphere like this for Jiu Jitsu. This no. is a fantastic atmosphere. The crowd loving it. And both fighters showcasing a high level of Jiu Jitsu here as well. I'm fanboying out here a little bit, to be honest. That's perfectly allowed, son. That's perfectly allowed. We're running up on five seconds and Paddy Hill and looks like he's run the clock on Dave Roach yet again. Yeah. Dave Roach needs a submission in this last round of overtime. Is that one more round? Yeah. <laughs> one more round each, fellas. One more round each. Last round. Is it? Yeah. Is it one more round? My mistake, one more round for both guys. Dave Roach needs a submission to win this one. Dave needs a submission. So Paddy has got out, escaped twice in 15 and 16 seconds as well here. So 
Dave Roach needs the home run. Dave Roach looking to go two hands on Paddy's one arm, which makes it stronger at the pride. Those arms open, but also gives and Paddy gets ready to explode. To Dave has got it as he Paddy steps across. Arms extended, but I don't know if he's going to get that angle while Paddy's leg is stepping over like that. And Dave grimacing just to try to pull that arm down of Paddy Hulahan. Thirty seconds in, Keith. He makes an adjustment. And there's it. His Paddy is out. Beautiful work. Paddy Hillen. <laughs> As Dave Roach has had all three attacking rounds, he cannot now win the belt. Paddy wins. <laughs>